As a painter, sometimes it's good to focus on just one of the elements of painting. Obviously, the most important element is, of a good painting is drawing. And I find that it's something that I don't really work on enough. So I'm set up here and I'm just going to simply paint um, a subject matter that I'm very familiar with and comfortable with. I'm going to paint a little tree here in the park. It's a gorgeous uh, sunny day. And um, I've got my sketchbook here, some pencils, and uh, we're just going to practice working on those drawing skills, working on tonal values, working on shapes and design, and all these things that I know that I need to work on to make my paintings better. We're gonna do a dedicated practice session today and just do some plein air drawing. There's my dog, Harry. I'm looking at this tree right here. Now on camera, it's a lot darker than um, what I'm seeing in real life, but what I like about it is that I have this band of light back here. I have dark against light, um, different textures like the leaves. And um, even if I zoom in, I don't know if you can see, but there's um, some little red uh, berries or fruits or seeds or something like that. So I'm going to focus on um, trying to get all of the, basically a portrait of this tree, but I wanna you know, work on getting these shapes, the contrast and tone, and the different lines and values and we'll we'll go from there i've got a strathmore toned tan uh, sketchbook that i'm going to be drawing on today and i'm going to be using this gear 500 uh, pentel mechanical pencil i like this because it's always sharp uh, this has 2b lead in it i'll also maybe use this um, white pastel uh, pit pastel uh, pencil and maybe for black blacks, this is a charcoal pencil and I've got a kneaded eraser, a blending stump. I probably won't use this, but we'll see. And um, this is also a eraser for some fine details. So we will um, use these tools and see what we can do. Um, the negative shapes between these branches here. I'm going to try and see if I can dial that shape in. There's a bunch of school children uh, at a little private school just on the other side of this park. And so if you see her, if you hear the horrified screams of children, that's just a playground. Nothing. It's not the apocalypse or anything that I'm aware of.
I have quite a tangle of branches and I'm probably not going to draw every one of them. Um, but I am trying to be fairly accurate to um, just practice these drawing skills, you know. I'm going to kind of put in a shape for some of these um, foliage at the base of the tree. Some little branches that come up from the ground. And then I'm going to put here a marker for the shadow the tree is casting. And a little bit farther up there's kind of a line in the terrain. And this is the beauty of pencil. I'm gonna erase because I made a mistake. So that's why I'm working on these skills. It seems to be a lot lower. I'm going to work on trying to capture some of this foliage now. And it's really in bunches. Definitely can't paint every leaf. Of little fingers of texture, lots of gaps. Okay, so now I'm going to start shading this and I'm going to do like I might do in an oil painting. I'm going to work from my darkest darks down to my lightest lights. go in for darker darks um, if I need to. One thing is that um, dark shapes, even though I know that this tree is the same color all around. Um, it appears darker when it's against um, the white of the sky. So sometimes you have to compensate and make branches that are against the sky look darker than maybe branches that are even in shadow 
down here. A lot of this too is reducing it down, reducing it down to something that you can observe and trying to capture the essence of the thing. For the shadow down here, I'm going to shade laterally and then go over the top to produce a texture. Um, and you might do something similar with a painting too. Um, but getting the tone right is kind of more important to me than the um, specific texture. And if I start with the basis of that tone, I can get the texture as well top of it. Now one thing I think that will help me at this stage is um, to look at a picture of the uh, tree in black and white just from my phone and compare it to a picture of my drawing and this is going to help me with uh, understanding and seeing the tonal values. So now that I've looked at that um, picture and I see that I need to go quite a bit darker here with some of the drawing and um, it'll probably help to put some of the other tones in as well. I'm um, also trying to work on my edges so there's a lot to, uh, to cover here. I think what I'm going to do now is come in with some of my lighter lights um, just to establish the relationship, the value relationship between the dark and the light. Um, because I don't want to just adhere to whatever's on the camera. I uh, also I want to adhere to you know what I'm seeing. So that's where this uh, white pencil is coming in handy. And um, I'm gonna lay in some stuff for this guy. Again, kind of starting general, and then I'll get more specific as I go. There's a ton of sky holes uh, in, in this drawing, in this scene. There's a lot in the middle. And I'm trying to sort of draw around using the uh, tone of the page to kind of be the gray uh, medium tone that I'm seeing for the foliage so that you kind of have a basis for the foliage at least in clumps. So 
So now that we have that, I'm going to start marking in um, more of the foliage now. I'm trying to so approximate that texture. No. Good dog. There's too many leaves and branches and clumps of foliage to draw every single thing. So I'm squinting a lot and trying to kind of approximate and you can see that I'm kind of just squiggling around. But that's um, giving me at least a basis for the texture that I'm seeing here. Harry, good boy. And again, you know, I can go darker, I can go lighter if I need to, I can erase. So we've got options. And all this is a learning experience. All this is to learn, um, to grow, to see what areas can I improve in, to see what did I get right, what did I get wrong, to just enjoy nature. here and maybe just design a few more branches, specific clumps. Just bring out a little bit more detail. When I am squinting, See, it's darker in here, darker in this area. You can abstract it out. And you can bounce back and forth just like I would in a painting between my darks, my lights, my darks, my lights, refining shapes. I think I want to make the trunk darker now quite a bit. Um, so we'll go over that, all of that. There's kind of some dab of light on it, but I can maybe bring that out with um, an eraser. We'll just kind of make a 
some mark making here to denote the, the uh, tone of those trees in the back. And then bring out of that some specific shapes. Lots of verticals because we're looking at trees. So that can be just like a starting place for, you know, your mark making, your texture, your your first layer of tone, and then you can come back over it. Again, get more specific. But we kind of want to keep this sort of vague and abstract because it's in the background, of course. Kind of smudge it around a little bit if we want. Things that are vertical will always be your darkest dark, so we've got some dark tree trunks. So I think I'm going to call this just about good. Um, and just do a little bit more texturing. I'm not quite pleased with the foliage, but it is what it is. Um, I like the the tree trunks though and I think I'm just going to do a little bit more work on this foliage and um, darken some spots here, sharpen some edges and I think that we will call this good.